of morning, so this is the street that I live on. Um, and it's about 6 a.m., I think 6.05, so I'm a bit behind schedule. Usually I like to try to leave at 5.45 so I can be at my office at 6. But that's okay, not a worry. Um, so basically now I've got my walk to the uh, train station, about 10 minutes. And then I got like 10 minutes on the train and then 10 more minutes uh, to the office. So about 30 minutes of time now. So recently I've always been doing Portuguese in the mornings um, but then German doesn't get done later. So this week it'll be all German. So, um, so right now I'm going to listen to some German, um, easy German podcasts. Uh, on the train I'm going to do one lesson of Babbel and then I'll continue listening to German um, from the train to my office. And then when I get there, I'm gonna try to do at least one more lesson of Babel, um, maybe two lessons of Babel. Oh, got across the road. I'll see you in a minute. So here we are in the kitchen at my office and um, what's re one really cool thing is that um, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday uh, we actually get free bagels from Noah's Bagels um, which is awesome so every Monday, Wednesday, Friday I get um, to have free bagels with my morning coffee which is, oh it smells so good, it smells so good, look at those bagels. Um, so basically I have like a really nice morning routine. Um, I get here basically before everybody. Um, and so as you can see, I have my whole little uh, coffee set up. So uh, what I like to do is just listen to some peaceful music um, and grind my coffee beans, make my own cup of coffee. And then I sit over there and uh, start studying, working on side projects. Usually I've been doing a lot of programming in the mornings recently, working on the web apps that I'm building. Um, but I'm gonna really try to focus on uh, German. So right now I'm going to listen to uh, German music while I make my coffee, um, and then we'll get to some babbling. <laughs> a little bit early because I had to start early today um, just finishing off some tasks that we're going to be deploying um, and so uh, I was just actually doing Babel on my phone um, I do that fairly often but I've been doing it for years now so pretty good at doing Babel while walking <laughs> even on a busy street um, so yeah it's 4 30 so I have the rest of the day uh, I'm gonna go to the gym and work out. But other than that, uh, I'm gonna pretty much spend the rest of the night uh, doing German and working on my web applications. So I'll try to take you guys with me. Hello, so it's after work. Uh, I'm back in the Castro, which is where I live. Um, it's an amazing neighborhood and I really, really like it here a lot. Um, so this morning was not quite as productive as I had hoped honestly and as it normally is and that's because I was actually as I mentioned having to work on extra uh, stuff for my job because we were finishing off a really pretty big project today um, but thankfully over lunchtime uh, through my commute to work and especially my commute back from work 
um, I actually got a lot more done than I expected uh, with Babbel. So um, I'm doing these sort of uh, daily life type videos um, like in the past. And the reason is because I really want to show you guys, not, it's not just about what do you do, <laughs> it's also uh, how do you do that uh, in the context of a busy life with a busy schedule, with a full-time job, or whatever you have going on. So that's why I'm kind of trying to document this week every day if I can. It's to kind of really give a honest and transparent perspective um, more on how do you actually get this stuff done. And so when I fail to be as productive as I hoped, uh, like this morning, I will be very honest with you. And, uh, and I'll try to also show you my own little daily journey of trying to get that productivity back trying to stay you know positive on top of things so right now it's about 6 30 p.m. Uh, so I have still a few hours left of the evening uh, and honestly I'm really really enjoying getting back to my German like it, it's really working so well removing the choice between German and Portuguese or German and Spanish like just removing that choice has made this day so much easier and I'm actually really really enjoying um, getting back to my German study. So normally I might get to the coffee shop now, I'm gonna have a cup of tea, and um, I might just dive right into my development work um, on my side projects, but I'm actually really looking forward to doing some German now. Um, so I think I'm gonna try to do one or maybe even two more, you know what? Two more Babbel lessons on German. That would be about five lessons today on Babbel, which is fantastic. Um, and let's see, after that, I'll finish off the evening by working on uh, my dev projects. And by the way, I keep saying this, but they're going really well, making a ton of progress. And very soon I'll be uh, basically showing you guys some prototypes. And um, it won't be too long before you guys can start using uh, the social network that I've been uh, working on uh, really hard for all of you and also for myself. Uh, because this whole project started from my own need and desire to have a place where I could really enjoy the experience of writing in my different languages and also my own need for making connections, friendships. Um, that's very annoying. Happens quite a lot in this city, the constant honking, but that's okay. Um, Anyway, so that's gonna be done soon. So I'm gonna go now. I will start walking back. I wish you could see behind me. It's actually very beautiful. That is the like a very steep hill. We're right at the top of the city and the fog is just immense. If you look at all that fog and that we're actually right um, next to Soul Cycle with all the pride flags. So it's a really cool area. And like I said, I'm now going to head over to Verve. It's one of my favorite coffee shops in the area. And uh, yeah, enjoy a nice cuppa with my studies. So please, please, please uh, leave me comments and let me know uh, how your language sprint is going. Let me know any insights you have. I really want this to be interactive. I want you guys to engage with each other. I want you to engage with me. So seriously, if you're having any problems or struggles, let me know. Um, some of the people that comment on my videos are very knowledgeable about language learning and they are very happy to give advice. So, of course, I will try to give advice. I'm sure others will as well. And not only that, if, you're, if there's something that's going really well, if there's a positive insight that you have, then please also share that in the comments. Because if this goes well, then I might even turn this into a regular thing where we do these language sprints together. So, anyway, uh, yes, thank you guys for everything. See you guys in the next video tomorrow.